ella quiere su rumba. ¿Cómo? Si es bestia que tú eres guapa, yo te voy a poner goza. Tú tienes la Pardon? boca grande, dale, ponte a jugar. Okay, what's, what's wrong with you? Well, I didn't, hang on, I didn't get any of that last okay, bit. Right, go, back it up. You know I want you. Yeah, I got this. I I'll translate. You know I want you. Won't you? Okay, that's okay, one, two, three, four. And then uno, one, dos, two, three, four. Tres, cuatro right. is Spanish. Great. Right. I know you want me. You know I got that bit then. Yeah, yeah. Dominic. Big Baldy. Dominic. Big Baldy. Got no hair on his head. Don't use shampoo. It's nice and smooth. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's what it means. None of it. It's like a different language. I like this. What? I think it's fresh. The what? Fuffa fresh. That is Pitbull. I know you want me. Ironically, Pitbull, I don't. This is another reason why I might dump my trainer because he said to me the other day, "What well, that song you play all the morning? That will get that. I bet it's going to be a big hit, isn't it? Uh, which which song is that? What song you played the other day? Kasabian. No. Take that. No. Uh, Lady Gaga, La Rue. No. It went uh, da, 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 one, two, three. Oh, that one. Yeah. All right. You're fired. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Well. Is that really justification for terminating his contract? Well, that and the fact that I, then I don't have to do any tr- city training. I wonder what he makes of Pitbull. He might like that. That's that's, that's what we're just talking about. Oh, is that the one yeah. he's talking about? Yeah. Sorry, do you want to buy my, my <laughs> shades? <laughs> Sorry, I think I should. <laughs> do you know what? Yeah. I wonder what your trainer makes of that last song we played. Put glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoever um. wears them shall make no sense whatsoever. Oh. I was done with would say now, whatever so. Yeah. Do you know what you should get yourself a trainer? See, they suit you. Do they? Yeah. Do they look like an idiot already? No, they really suit you. I wonder whether your trainer would like the music that we play. Yeah. He likes... <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. 305 checking in for the yeah, remix. but what does he think of Pitbull? <laughs> oh, he likes that as well. What is he is going to be called Gaiocho? <laughs> do you think uh, Dominic looks like Bono if Bono was yeah. bald yeah, with, with a goatee? A little bit. Yeah. Hello, hello. They do actually really suit you. Do better, they? Better than the ones you normally wear. No, give over. Mine are brilliant. You though. know those cheap ones that you normally wear? They're My not expensive cheap. ones are a lot better. Mm. Are they? Yeah. Bono, please. Hello, hello. Hello, Bono. Hello, Chris. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> Where <laughs> are you from? Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks very much. We just played Barcelona the other night. Where? Barcelona. <laughs> Ah, it was brilliant. Was it? We who were su- great. Who supported you in Barcelona? Uh, I should know that, but I don't. Uh, possibly Elbow. Possibly played. No, Snow Patrol played. <laughs> Snow Patrol played, Chris. You're going to have to take the drunk glasses um, off of a friend. Can I borrow a pen off somebody, please? Why? Well, because I'm just making a note that this last half an hour should <laughs> never be used for any Sony Radio Award stick, entry. Stick in for a Sanyo. Why, Dave, did you think your performance was a little bit lacklustre? I thought me and Dom were brilliant. Yeah. Digital FM online. This, this is BBC Radio One. Hello there. So make sure you play that pit. How do I look? Attractive. You look great. <laughs> Thanks. You look great now. They suit you. Hello, hello, <laughs> hello, hello. No, you can't do that until you're wearing the glasses. <laughs> All right, sorry. Hang on. <laughs> there you go. Right. Dave is now wearing the drunk glasses. <laughs> You look ridiculous. What do you mean ridiculous? No, they don't suit you. Hello, hello. Well, on, whoa, he's not Mexican. <laughs> it's, like, it's like I'm in the room with you three. Hello, the hello. Worst you two tribute men. You can have them back. I can't concentrate with this desk. It's too low. Hmm, we're gonna have to move now. We are ready to go if we need to into the other studio. No, but only because it's why? Why can't you fix it? It's just too. I can't work mm. on it. We can. It'll run the risk of resetting really low again. But we can try that if you want. I'm dragging my knuckles on the desk. Hello, hello. Yeah, all right, Bono, pipe down. Look. <laughs> How about we move to the other studio, we get an engineer over, we test it. If it comes higher, we come back. Are you on glue? D- Dave, give him the give him the drunk glasses. 
<laughs> it's like having a dunce cap. It is. So you stick it on now. Right, really Alan, yellow. what is wrong with the desk? At the moment, it's stuck at a particular height. Right, what height is that? Uh, slightly too low. Right. Does it look too low? Yes. It does? Uh, yes. Because ha- you've got to lean down to press the buttons. Okay, am I leaning down? Oh, no, you're not. Right. Have we, you, has it gone up? Yeah, we've fixed it. How? Well, you were out of the room, we fixed it. Yeah. What did you do? I reset it. You you took it down to the bottom. I took it down to the bottom. It it jiggered and then I brought it back up again. All you the way back up. up. That's the technical terminology, by the way, for the radio again? desk. You're a brave jiggered, man. I think. Jiggered. Is that a word? We fixed it, Alan, with a combination of magic and marmite and jiggery. I'm so relieved. Yeah. Thank you. Mm, well that's done. All right. Thank you. I'll let the engineer know he can stand down because he was panicking just as much as I was. Stand down. It's like he's some kind of armed guard. Stand down. <laughs> Make him wear the glasses <laughs> now. We don't need him. It, how do sunglasses make the room brighter? They don't, but they also make me sound drunk. So that's how. That's my excuse. They're drunk glasses. Yep. I've taken them off, and now I sound absolutely brilliant. Digital FM online. This, this is BBC Radio One. See if you can tell, listeners at home, when I put the drunk glasses on. Okay. Okay. Everything is fine. Not a problem. And someone like this is coming the news. Do you know there is a slight change in your voice? Mm. Mm. Now you say it. What? Pardon? The music's too loud. It's fine now. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's, I, I, I don't know who I am. Yep, I t- take them off. I, I'm going to take them off right now. Perfect. There wow, you go, you see amazing. you back in the room. <laughs> I don't think I, I was in the room before. <laughs> uh, right, look, let's get the news and sport. Dominic and Carrie are here. It's five past seven. US forces step up the assault on the Taliban. And Murray Mania keeps on building. And the weather, very hot again, even hotter than yesterday for some places in the southeast of England. It could hit 33 degrees, but there are warnings of torrential rain and thunderstorms in the west of the UK no. today, and there could be some flooding as well. Oh, no. Almost exactly nine minutes past seven. How can that be? I know. How can we have boiling hot weather mm. in one bit of the UK and flooding in another part? Mm. I know. This country is messed up, people. It's freakish weather at the moment. Yes. Can't they build a roof on Britain? Like they did with Wimbledon. Yeah. Can well, we not have a retractable roof? And if they know the bad weather is coming on a Friday, they switch it on on a Wednesday and it keeps us warm or dry. There is a theory that scientists should be able to blow clouds away. With those, uh, right, those I, big, um, you know, the big wind thing. Yeah, I've always you... said that. Can they not build massive wind turbines mm. that when the clouds come, it blows the cloud away. Mm. And, yeah, possibly. And they just hang about in space until the clouds come. And then because just... then, if we had them, for example, on the south coast of England, yeah. then when they came this way, we could just blow it all back to France. Nice.